Is your car safe to drive or will you prefer to drive one of the safest cars available today? Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about safety features of the Tesla Model 3. We are going to review crash test results, rollover tests, airbag protection, but we are also going to talk about the roof crush test and the driver assist software available in the car. This is, as you see, all about the best safety feature of the Tesla Model 3. So are you ready? Take a seat, take some snack and enjoy the video! So don't take my word for it, but Tesla Model 3 received top marks from safety organizations in the US, in Europe, in Australia and other countries, including a 5-star crash test safety rating from the Consumer Information Agency in Europe, Euro NCAP, and in 2019, a top safety peak plus from the IIHS, the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety. Those tests indicate an overall good performance in crash test protection, as well as being equipped with robust crash avoidance technology. Today, we are going to talk about the tests that are assessed in the car crash worthiness, occupant protection, crash avoidance, as well as the unique features of the Tesla Model 3 that support those ratings. And what is very interesting is that all those top marks for the Tesla Model 3 were received in multiple tests, like the roof strengths, the head restraints and the seat test, like the autonomous driver's assistance rating systems. Much of it is partly due to the advanced safety technology who are special to this car. So first, we are going to talk about the crash test. So the Tesla Model 3, like all other Tesla cars, are fully electric and doesn't have a combustion engine in front of the car. And this is a key difference for a crash test because when you do the test, what you have in front of the car is dropped empty steel and aluminum were protecting you in a safe way. So during the test, the front of the car will crumble, drawing the stock of the car crash test away from the occupants. And this results in a very, very good score. Next, we are going to talk about the rollover test. Because the battery of the car is below the car and quite heavy, when the car tried to do a rollover during those tests, it's almost impossible for the car to go over. They did quite a lot of tests on the Tesla Model Y, which is higher in center of gravity, and even then it was extremely hard for the car to do a rollover. So top marks for the rollover test. Then we can speak about the airbag protections. Tesla have eight airbags included into the car, four on each side. You have front panels, you have side panels, but you also have with the front screen as well, making this car quite very, very safe. So now let's take about the roof crush test. So this is a test where you are going to try to test the resistance of the roof. And even then, the Tesla Model 3 earn a higher strength to weight ratio score than any other fully electric vehicle tested by the IIHS. So the car roof resisted more than 20,000 pounds of force, making it one of the safer roof tests available today. And now we need to talk about the software will also make the car very safe. This is what we call driver assist. The Model 3 scored an astonishing 94% in the safety assist category for halting automatically for pedestrian and cyclists. 
as well as correcting inattentive driving. The Model 3 has a suite of driver assist systems designed to keep you from getting into an accident, including an automatic emergency braking system that detects obstacles and stops the car on its own. You may also do it sometime what we call phantom braking, and this is quite annoying, but let's park for this now. Active safety features come standard in all Tesla vehicles that are made after September 2014 for elevative protection at all times. Those features are made possible by the autopilot hardware and the software system and they will include several emergency braking activities that we are going to list now. First, you have the automatic emergency braking. This detects cars or obstacles that the car may have an impact and apply automatically the brakes accordingly. So be careful, when you are on a highway in autopilot, you may have this internationally and this is what is called phantom braking. This happened to me several times, but this is when you pass a bridge or there is a big shadow on the street. So be careful when you drive in autopilot. The second one is called Front Collision Warning. So this one warns of impending collision with slower moving vehicle or stationary car in front of you. And this you can configure it if you want it or not in the preference on the screen. This also happens several times to us when we arrive too fast in front of a stopping car and the alarm is quite worrying. So we learn our lesson fast. What about you? Did you have this as well? This front collision warning alarm happen? Let me know in the comment below. Thanks. The next one is called side collision warning. This one will warn of potential collision with obstacle we are arriving alongside the car. So when there is a car passing you on the left or on the right too closely, you will get this warning as well. The next safety feature is called Obstacle Aware Acceleration. And what it does, it automatically reduces the acceleration of your car when an obstacle is detected in front of your car when you are driving at low speed. Very useful indeed. And there is another one. This one is called Blind Spot Monitoring. And the blind spot monitoring is going to warn you when a car or obstacle is detected when you are changing lane. Very useful indeed. The last two now. First, the lane departure avoidance. This is going to apply corrective steering to keep your car in the intended lane. And this is mainly used when you are in autopilot. And the last one, quite similar indeed, is called Emergency Lane Departure Avoidance. This one will steer your car back into the driving lane when it detects that your car is departing from its lane and there could be a collision. So also use when you are in autopilot to make sure you stay within your intended lane. So now you know most of the safety features of the Tesla Model 3, but be careful. Tesla in its manual recommends that these active features are designed to assist you as driver of the car, but they cannot respond in every situation. It is always in your own responsibility to stay alert, to drive safely, and be in control of your car at all times. So be careful, be safe when you drive. And that's it for this video. If you like it, please don't forget to click the like button and also to subscribe to my channel. This really helped me to grow the channel and to motivate me to do other videos. Thank you for watching. I will leave you with those nice images of a Richmond Park in London. Hope you enjoyed this video. So drive safe and see you soon on my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.